Hey everybody, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch Dr. Stone to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. Now, I know that gunpowder has sulfur, and I know that it has charcoal in it, but I didn't know about the potassium nitrate. Wow, okay, I just googled it, and yeah, that's also in good- Can they do that? <laughs> like, can they just give you the ingredients of gunpowder in a TV show and, like, Hey kids, here's how you make gunpowder. Well, needless to say, yeah, exactly how he's explaining it, that, that is how you make gunpowder. I'm not sure you can do that in a TV show. <laughs> but I guess they just did, so what do I know? Onsen, Kazan, Otekko. Otekko! That part is 100% legit. <laughs> Rubbing two random rocks together isn't actually going to make a fire. You need something like pyrite because that's the iron inside the pyrite is what's going to cause the spark, which you can use to then produce a fire. And it's a really slow process. It's not like you just like rub it together twice and all of a sudden the spark shows up. Like it takes a long time. Like just rubbing that pyrite against something so that you can eventually get one spark to appear. It's really not that easy. I mean, how it works is pretty simple. It's just through friction. Like you just take two pieces of iron pyrite and you're just rubbing them against each other to the point where enough friction is developed and then that charge releases a spark. Or what's happening here is that he's just throwing a giant rock on top of this whole sack of gunpowder and it's a very very like high pressure thing that you're doing right there so yeah under high pressure conditions this can happen as well because it's not like you need multiple sparks to go off all you need is one like once you have that one and once you have a fuel source and heat uh combustion <laughs> and it blows up Yeah, I did that all the time as a kid. I mean, so I, I think a lot of kids do that too. Just like, whether you're trying to accomplish that or not, some people just figure it out, like, just through sheer coincidence. Like, how that works is that the magnifying glass you're using has a convex lens, which is what actually allows you to magnify images. And when you take the convex lens and you put it under direct sunlight, that sun is going to be focusing in on the lens and then like j just like you're looking through a lens all those rays of light will focus on one point that's called the focal point and at that one area all the sun rays are like connecting with each other and that one point is where you're going to start burning things left and right moving your magnifying glass around if you want to get really creative then what you could do is get multiple magnifying glasses so you have to find the focal point of each of them and then once you line all those up you get really really intense heat and as someone who has done that when they were a kid, we actually burned the sidewalk and the concrete still hasn't recovered since. That is really, really cool. Like, Raspberry Pis are awesome. It's They're pretty much just like little mini computers that have like nothing on them so you can program them and you know like physically like build on top of them for whatever purpose you want to do whether you're an engineer or not using a raspberry pi is really fun like you can make a lot of really cool things raspberry pies are really good if you want to learn how to code and actually apply that code to a like real life program you can also learn how to solder if you're physically building like more layers on top of it to make another machine. There's a lot that you can do with it. I highly recommend Raspberry Pis to anyone and everybody because like it's just such a feeling of accomplishment when you take like random pieces of like wood and metal and then you put them together and you make a computer. Like that's what you're doing. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. I can't sell that idea enough. This one was definitely one of my favorite episodes of the show so far. It's kind of creepy in that they told you how to make gunpowder. I'm not sure how they got away with that idea, but 
um, those producers, they got some strings because I don't know how you could get away with that. Really like the show, and if you guys want to see more Dr. Stone, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay fresh and stay golden.